a water tap motion sensor for at home? Who could have guessed that? How does it work? And is it any good? Let's find out. Let's go. In the box, you'll find a very nicely packaged situation. It's got the water tap motion sensor and six different mounts, depending on your tap screw size and a small instruction booklet, which is entirely written in Chinese. It also comes with three different sized rubbers, which are located inside the packaging. So just make sure that you don't forget about these. After unpacking, I went straight to installing that onto a water tap right here. And that was actually uh, really easy. I just had to remove my current tap hat from my water tap, just add on the rubber and screw on the right size mount. After that, you can simply mount the sensor unit and that's it. And it works straight away. On the unit itself, you'll find two motion sensors. One on the side, which will keep the water tap running until it detects motion again. This is for when you need to have the tap on longer when uh, filling up a pan with water, for example. If you happen to forget turning off the water for some reason, or you have a cat or a pet that triggered it, it will automatically turn off within three minutes. The motion sensor on the bottom only gives out water when it detects your hand. And you will also need to get a bit closer to it for that to give out water. And when you either remove or lower your hand from the sensor, it will stop giving water. So this is probably best for washing your hands. On the side of the unit, there's a rubber cap, which has a micro USB port to charge its internal battery, making this the weirdest thing I've ever charged. And I've only charged it just once after I got it about three months ago, and it's still up and running. So it seems to consume very little power. I must say that it's good to see that it does not use replaceable batteries. The unit might look a bit big when attached, but in reality it's only 6 by 5 by 3.5 centimeters, weighing only 105 grams, so it is quite small actually. As this is really all that it does, uh, what do I think about the water tap motion sensor? Well, I do think it's a very cool product. I mean, we've all interacted with something similar, maybe in a hotel or on airports for example, and now you can have the same at home. It does exactly what it needs to do, and that's all it does. It should be saving water, especially when washing your hands, so I can't argue with that. But there's a few things to keep in mind. As it will give out water when you put your hands next to it or below it, you will need to keep the tap open at all times for this to work. When the tap is closed, it will obviously not work. This also means that it only works with cold or hot water, as you would need to manually change between those. Also, when washing your hands, the sensor can be very picky about the distance, although that is something that you will get used to quite quickly, as you just gotta keep your hands quite close to it. It's very convenient when you've got like really dirty hands perhaps from cooking or working in the garden or whatever it is that you do to get your hands dirty and you don't uh, have to use the handle to open up the tap. Also when you have your hands full when cooking it can be very helpful so overall I am quite positive about this water tap motion sensor. I mean it doesn't have Bluetooth or Wi-Fi which actually could have been cool to perhaps show the water usage or it could have been nice to see a water purifying filter in it but it does what it's advertised to do and it does that well. It came into the Xiaomi Yopin store in China for only 79 RMB during crowdfunding and it's being sold now for 139 RMB, which is a little over 20 US dollars or 18 and a half euros. You can get them online through the typical resellers for a little bit more and I've put down some links in the description below this video if you want to check them out. So that's it for the water tap motion sensor. What do you think? Is this something that you would want in your house or not and why? Let me know down here in the comment section. And if you enjoyed these videos, leave a little like below the video to indicate that you liked it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, know that you probably should. As always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.